Word to Encourage, every day. Welcome to Words to Encourage, the daily radio broadcast of the Bible Baptist Church of Grove City, Ohio. Everyone needs encouragement. We all need to be uplifted. With today's encouragement, here's our pastor, Stan Slater. With a smile, a bright sunny smile. Welcome to Words to Encourage. This is the daily radio broadcast of the Bible Baptist Church. We're located in Grove City, Ohio. I'm Brother Slayball. Good Friday to you, March the 15th, moving right through the month of March. And boy, it's been a great month. And uh, their teens were at a youth conference here two weeks ago. And then this uh, this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we've got some folks down at Addictions Conference uh, down in South Carolina. And they'll be returning and sharing some things about that conference uh, in our service Sunday, and so we're going to have a great time. It's been a great month of March, and uh, this coming Monday night, we got our big uh, church-wide bowling activity, and we all go bowling, and it's a fun time, and we're just enjoying serving the Lord. Uh, what a, what a, how great is it to be a Christian? It's the best thing I know, and I, if you don't know Christ, you're missing it, man. You're missing out, and I hope you would come to know Christ as your Savior, and realize what this Christian life's all about. Get yourself involved in a good Bible-believing, uh, gospel-preaching, and soul-winning church, and I tell you what, it'll change your life. It really will. And so we look forward to the rest of this month and uh, God continuing to work uh, in our hearts and our lives, and I hope you will as well. Well, listen, if your Bible's close by, I want you to go to 2 Kings chapter 5, 2 Kings chapter 5. And beginning in verse 17, the Bible says, And Naaman said, Shall there not then, I pray thee, be given to thy servant two mules, burden of earth? For thy servant will henceforth offer neither burnt offerings nor sacrifice unto other gods, but unto the Lord. In this thing the Lord pardon thy servant. Now when my master goeth into the house of Rimmon to worship there, and he leaneth on my hand, and I bow myself in the house of Rimmon, when I bow down myself in the house of Rimmon, the Lord pardon thy servant in this thing. And he said unto him, Go in peace. So he departed from him a little way. But Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, the man of God, said, Behold, my master has spared name in the Syrian, and not receiving in his hand the thing which he brought. But as the Lord liveth, I will run after him, and take somewhat of him. So Gehazi followed after Naaman, and when Naaman saw him running after him, he lighted down uh, from the chariot to meet him. And he said, Is all well? And he said, All is well. My master has sent me, saying, Behold, even now there be come to me from Mount Ephraim two young men of the sons of the prophets. Give them, I pray thee, a talent of silver and two changes of garments. And Naaman said, Be content, take two talents. And he urged him, and he bound two talents of silver in two bags with two changes of garments, and laid them upon two of his servants, and they bare them before him. And when he came to the tower, he took them from their hand, and bestowed them in the house, and let the men go, and they departed. But he went in and stood before his master. And Elisha said unto him, Whence comest thou, Gehazi? And he said, Thy servant went no whither. And he said unto him, Went not mine heart with thee, when the man turned again from his chariot to meet thee? Is it a time to receive money and to receive garments and olive yards and vineyards and sheep and oxen and men servants and maidservants? The leprosy thereof of Naaman shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever. And he went out from his presence, a leper as white as snow. I want to tell you something. I love our country. I love America, therefore I hate communism. I love America, therefore I hate socialism. I love America, therefore I'm for freedom. I love America, therefore I'm for individual rights. I'm against any government system that destroys freedom, that will take away our liberties, that would silence our pulpits, that would lock our churches, that would take away our Bibles, that would enslave our children or kill our babies. So I have no patience with politicians that are are soft on socialism, that are soft on communism, because socialism and communism are great destroyers of societies. I'm against humanism, as taught in most pagan schools and universities today, that belittles God, denies God, and deifies man. It's, it, it, I, I hate all of it. I hate the godlessness. I hate the immorality. I hate the wickedness. I hate the socialism. I, I hate what's going on in, in many parts of our country. And yet, listen, listen, that's not the great destroyer. The great destroyer isn't socialism. The great destroyer isn't communism. The great destroyer isn't humanism. The great destroyer isn't liberalism, though I hate liberalism. 
especially in the pulpit and in our seminaries, where they tell you the Bible is not the Word of God, or salvation is not by faith in Jesus Christ, or they say they believe the virgin birth, but they really don't. They say they believe in the resurrection, but they really don't. They say Jesus is the Son of God, but they really don't believe that. But that's not the great destroyer. But I want to tell you what the great destroyer in America is. The great destroyer in the world. The great destroyer of Christian lives. It's what destroyed Gehazi. Money. Money is the great destroyer. It was money that caused Lot to turn towards Sodom. It was money that caused the brothers to sell Joseph into slavery for 20 pieces of silver. It was Judas that caused money to cause Judas to sell the Savior for 30 pieces of silver. Because Lot chose Sodom and the money, he exposed his family to wickedness and materialism, to alcohol, to homosexuality, to perversion. The great destroyer of America today, it's not the Democrat, it's not the Socialist, it's not the Republican, it's not the Communist. The number one destroyer is the love of money. The number one destroyer of homes is the love of money. The number one destroyer in Congress is the love of money. The number one destroyer of Wall Street is the love of money. The number one destroyer of businesses is the love of money. The number one destroyer of unions is the love of money. Love of money more than love for God. People love liquor and pride and drugs and immorality. And those things can turn you away from God. But nothing turns people faster than money. Nothing will change people faster than money. It caused Lot and his family to be destroyed in Sodom. It caused Balaam to leave the will of God. Money is what caused Gehazi to be struck with leprosy. Money caused Achan and his family to be uh, uh, stoned and burned, destroyed. It was money that sent Ananias and Sapphira to an early grave. It was that love of money that why, why some in church today are holding back and they don't give what, what's rightfully God's. It's caused people to break their own vows to God. It caused a rich young ruler to go away sorrowful because he had great possessions. And he may well be burning in hell because of money, his love for money. Many have followed after him. For you, Mr. Dollar, the Lord's Day has been abolished. For you, Mr. Dollar, people stay out of church on Sundays. For you, Mr. Dollar, they'd rather have you than a love for God. They would rather please you, Mr. Dollar, than please God. Mr. Dollar, you've corrupted competitions. Mr. Dollar, you've disgraced ministers. Mr. Dollar, you've changed scores of ball games. Mr. Dollar, you've caused wars. Mr. Dollar, you've caused children to become orphans. Mr. Dollar, you've sent millions fleeing the will of God. Mr. Dollar, you've caused God to continue. You've caused our government to continue the sale of alcohol that has taken lives and destroyed families. You've caused liquors, liquor stores and taverns to flourish. You've caused, Mr. Dollar, you've caused pornography to be rampant in our, in our society, which has led to much immorality and divorce and ruin. Mr. Dollar, you've taken the blush out of people's faces. You've taken the spring out of many steps. You've taken the smile off the face. You've taken joy out of the heart. You've crippled many a person. The love of you is the greatest enemy this world has ever known. Because the Bible says it's the love of money that is the root of all evil. So it's the love of you that cancer flourishes. It's the love of you that addiction continues to go out of control. It's the love of you that pharmaceuticals flourish. It's because of the love of you that abortion mills flourish because of you that our prisons are filled. It's because of you that our brothers and sisters fight in court and moms and moms and dads and, 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 and children fighting over a will. It's not worth it. Can I help you today? It's not worth it. Ask Lot if it was worth it. Ask Achan if it was worth it. Ask Ahazi if it was worth it. Ask Ananias and Sapphira if it was worth it. Ask Judas if it was worth it. What will it profit a man if he gained the whole world 
and lose his own soul. Dollar bill, you've never made one person happy. Instead, you try to fulfill a vacuum that never fills. You try to satisfy an appetite that is never satisfied. I've never heard a room of millionaires singing, I'm satisfied with money. But I've heard a room full of believers sing, I'm satisfied with Jesus. The love of money. For the love of money, people will rob God. And every time you do, you're looking at that dollar bill saying, I love you more than I love God. You cannot serve two masters. You're going to love the one and, and, and despise the other or hold to the one and, 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 and hate the other, but you can't serve God and money. So I stand up with Joshua today. As Joshua would stand up before the children of Israel, and I would tell you, choose you this day whom you will serve. The dollar or my God shall supply all your need. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus, the dollar or seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The dollar or call unto me, and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things thou knowest not. The dollar or cast all your care on him, for he careth for you. Will it be the Bible or the dollar? Will it be God's word or the dollar? Will it be God's promises or the dollar? You cannot serve God and money. Choose you this day whom you will serve. The songwriter had it right years ago. He penned these words. Lord, I care not for riches, neither silver nor gold. I would make sure of heaven. I would enter the fold. In the book of thy kingdom, with its pages so fair, tell me, Jesus, my Savior, is my name written there? Make sure your name's there. Make sure your name's there by receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. I hope you've trusted him. And if you're listening today and you've trusted him as your Savior and your name's there, don't let the great destroyer get to you. So easy to happen, especially in America. So easy to have it happen. Don't let it happen to you. The great destroyer, the love of money. Well, I hope that's been a help to you. I know it challenges us, but we need that. And I pray we'll keep our eyes focused on the Lord, all right? Well, I hope you have a great weekend. We're looking forward to a wonderful Lord's Day here at Bible Baptist Church. And then we'll, of course, look forward to being back with you on Monday for our broadcast. Let me remind you that Sunday services are 930 for Sunday school and Bible classes. Sunday morning service is 1030. And then Sunday evening service is at 530. And, uh, of course, uh, the Spanish church meets at identical times on Sunday. Uh, Pastor Adan Avilas and we invite our Spanish-speaking folks out to their services on Sunday. Same times, 930, 1030, and 530. And then we'll look forward to pressing on and uh, continuing on through the month of March. And again, uh, you can check things out on our website. We also have a Facebook page, Bible Baptist Church of Grove City. YouTube channel, Bible Baptist Church of Grove City. And you can uh, watch some of the past services there uh, as well. And uh, if we can be a blessing to you, let us know. And I appreciate you listening to Words to Encourage Radio. And until Monday, this is Brother Slayball reminding you, be good to everyone. Because everyone's having a tough time. Thank you for listening today. If this broadcast was an encouragement to you, we would love to hear from you. You can contact us by email at pastor at bbcgrovecity.org or you can call us at area code 614-875-2190. We invite you to visit us at the Bible Baptist Church at 2758 Home Road in Grove City, Ohio. Our service times are Sunday morning at 930 for Sunday school and 1030 for the morning worship service. We meet back together at 530 for our evening service and on Wednesday at 630 p.m. We also host the Bridge to Recovery Ministry, a faith-based recovery program bringing transformation to hurting people and our community. We meet every Thursday at 630 in the evening. You can find more information at our website about this and other ministries of Bible Baptist Church at bbcgrowcity.org. We hope that today these were truly words to encourage. Words to Encourage is paid for by the generous members and supporters of the Bible Baptist Church in Grove City, Ohio. The joy of serving Jesus.
Jesus with a smile, a bright sunny smile.